PolePositionRC.com here for you and in this video, it's a, just a quick one, just going to show you how you can waterproof your electronics, um, including circuit boards and lighting controllers such as this, or winch controllers like this, um, BECs like this, um, all sorts of electronic stuff, um, just like the manufacturers do when they waterproof your electronics. So it's very quick and simple. Um, basically, the secret is this stuff here, flexible silicon coating. Um, this is really handy stuff. You can get it uh, online on eBay or pro probably an electronics store near you. Um, now, uh, very simply what this does is it basically puts a, a clear uh, coating on all of your electronics so that water can't get into the electronics. Um, and this is basically the same sort of stuff that is used by the manufacturers when they waterproof things like the receiver in the HPI Venture. So um, I've got this thing here. It's a, uh, a light controller setup for a quadcopter, um, now known as drones. Um, but basically, uh, this plugs into your receiver, provides power to these four outputs, so it basically will step down a, uh, a 3S power source to four separate LED-friendly uh, uh, voltages, so that's quite handy. I am not an electronics expert whatsoever, that's why I need to buy things like this. Um, and uh, so basically, this is just clear shrink wrap or uh, heat heat shrink, so I'm just going to cut that away. And you can uh, do things like use plasti dip or shoe goo or body armor or any any available product out there. I prefer this one because you can actually, if you need to, um, you can solder right through it. Um, you can see everything that's in it. Uh, you know, still see the circuit board and and everything. So it's all good, really. Um, so just need to, I don't know if you need to shake it, don't really. Um, I've already done it on this one. I'm just gonna crack open the box and uh, show you what uh, is inside. This is a winch controller for an RC4 drive uh, winch system. And I waterproofed this uh, when I first got it. You can see how very nice and shiny the entire thing is. That's because it's coated with this stuff here. And the cool thing is, if you wanted to uh, solder any additional connectors, you can solder right through it, and then when you're done, you can put some more of this back on to, to seal the connections. Um, now you can see that there's a bit of hot glue there, I guess it is. Um, and uh, so it, it's a bit more convenient than using something like uh, shoe goo or the really thick stuff like Plasti Dip. Well, it's not really thick, but the thick stuff is uh, shugu. Um, so you can see there the, the comparison. This is untreated, and that is treated. You can see everything's nice and shiny. And I've driven this through the water. I've actually hosed off the truck with this installed, and it's all fine, really. So um, that is it. If I can just... It goes back on like that. And it just snaps back into place, the cover. And then uh, just going to be installing that in a bit. So basically, all you do, it's like uh, basically just a nail polish sort of applicator brush. Comes on. You can't really see it very well until you actually apply it. And I'm trying to do this so you can sort of see it there in the light. The thing about this stuff is, um, if you've ever used shugu before, it smells even worse than shugu. So make sure you do this in a place that has plenty of ventilation. And one reason to remove all of the uh, the uh, the heat shrink um, covering is one to save space, and two for neatness, um, so that you can save space. <laughs> so. If you're wondering why you would want to be doing this. So I'm just doing it onto these pins. I'm not going to be using these pins. I think they're for controlling and uh, programming stuff. I'm not really sure. But again, like I said, this is uh, a board designed for quadcopters and drones. 
um, which I'm not going to be doing anything spectacular with this. I just want the power outputs, these four wires. Um, so I'm just making sure I get it underneath these power output wires because obviously those are very important to uh, make sure that those are waterproofed. You can see how nice and shiny that is already. See there? So just a quick note, um, if you do have a board uh, like this where it has these pins that stick right out of the board, um, those will probably catch on something and eventually the coating will wear away. So just clip those down with a uh, pair of wire cutters or something like that. Um, they're not super strong. Uh, so clip those down before you actually uh, do this and then put the, put the coating on top of them and then maybe wrap it in a, a, a roll of electrical tape and or duct tape or gaffer tape or something like that. Um, and that should help uh, make sure that those exposed areas don't get worn down uh, and cause anything to short out. So that is it. Um, the thing to do now is wait uh, for a few hours, probably overnight, to let this dry and it's ready to use and install and get dipped in water. Um, so yeah, just make sure and cover the end of that. I probably don't need to, but you know, you never know. So yeah, that is it. Um, hope you found that helpful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Uh, check us out on Facebook. Just search for Pole Position RC Gear. Um, yes, add the gear at the end. Um, just look for this logo uh, if there's any doubt. And uh, we're also on Instagram, just Pole Position RC Gear. Uh, you can see all of our uh, latest projects and videos and all sorts of stuff on there. So, uh, yeah, that is it from me. Hope you found that helpful. Uh, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.